rồi vậy ngày mai á ấy à, đi à, đi cho chí nha à, dạ dạ anh em ngày mai á có gì đó con nó quay cái show á để mình nói alo chú mâm luôn hả à, là là quay trước rồi mới đi chúng tôi sẽ tối rồi quay vào đèn ờ à, dạ đúng rồi hả thôi chắc sao? chắc quay trước đi sáng quay trước anh em nói chuyện mới đi á chợ ấy Hey Slovy Nation, welcome back to another Chit Chat Saturday. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird and I kind of look a little puffy right now because I'm actually getting over some illnesses. Yesterday I was pretty much bedridden all day and today I was just like, one, I must get out of bed. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like crap for the rest of the weekend and I will not have that. I am a little lightheaded and it's probably because I haven't eaten anything of good substance. I've been eating like ramen and Chex mixes, which full on adult to you. By the way, so this top, I know you guys are gonna ask about it because it's super fantabulous and it's very, very pretty and I'm actually wearing it with a bra, which is great. I got this top from Zara a couple weeks ago and I did a haul on it. If you guys haven't seen the video, it's very pretty, but I do like this top. It's the second time I've worn it. It's very comfortable. Last weekend, if you guys didn't check out the video, I did my first impression on the silly sponge and I ended up really really liking it and my mom was like whoa that thing looks like a little piece of jello and you can use it for your makeup amazing and she was really impressed by it a couple of you guys mentioned that it looked like one breast insert which a lot of people on YouTube have done breast insert versus the silly sponge but some of you guys mentioned that they look like jelly heel liners that you would put in your shoe to cushion your heels in bad 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 pumps and I thought to myself oh my gosh they do look like heel inserts so I went on Amazon and I ordered some silicone heel liners and they do feel very much like the silly sponge the only difference is, is that one side is sticky versus the silly sponge where it is not sticky on one side it's just silicone on both sides so the one that I'm holding right now is not the coveted silly sponge I think that is a trademark name or whatnot it is just a makeup sponge that is made with silicone I cannot believe that I did not realize how ridiculously similar this is to the silly sponge it looks like this and one side is sticky because you need to be able to stick this to the back of your shoe peel this off it looks like a long booger ah, fudge. silicone gel's gone wild <laughs> i am going to stick them to each other oh 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 okay this is this could have been could have woulda oh snaps okay Oh my gosh, the concentration is so real right now. I'm using every single like synapses in my brain to make sure that this is going smoothly. I stuck them both together. This way there isn't a sticky side. I mentioned in the last video that I was using this little lip part right here of the silly sponge as a part of the makeup application process. On the heel liner, when you put them both together, you get kind of a little lip here as well. I think it's just the nature of how silicone is made. It needs to be pressed and sealed inside some plastic so you always end up with this lippy part so seems legit to me oh 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 i think they stopped the music before we start i am going to clip my hair back i am going to prime my face yet again with the urban decay pore perfecting complexion primer potion and i use very little of it just like a little little dot here just gonna get this on my t-zone so i truly believe that sunblock and moisturizer are the two key components in keeping your face young and healthy forever so last week, I tested out the Silly Sponge with my Studio Fix Fluid and I'm gonna continue to do that. And I'm gonna give this baby a shake here and I really, really do need to get a new bottle because I'm very, very close to emptying it out. I have a really quick question for those of you who do use foundation. Like when you're almost out, do you take in the Q-tip and try to swab the sides of it to get you know every last little drop that you can? Because I do that. Before I'm gonna start using this, I have no idea where it's been. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and just kind of really gently rub off whatever get a little bit of this onto the quote unquote sponge liner it's a little bit more difficult than the sponge itself because it is a little more narrow so you don't really have a lot of surface area to work with the texture is there it's just a little bit smaller recently ever since i switched over to a silicone sponge i've been using about three quarters of a pump to maybe one pump so this half is going to be covered with the heel liner actually i'm gonna go grab a mirror really quick Just like the first time, spreading it on my face. 
Hmm, interesting. It's not spreading as nicely as the Silly Sponge, and I think it's because it's not as thick and cushiony, so it doesn't have that. What's the word? That bounce when you're trying to spread it and trying to to blend it out. And so far, it's working very similarly. I think the only thing is that like because I'm using a heel liner, and you know how your brain kind of tricks you into things. And this is where marketing and social media kind of comes in. But you are tricked into believing a product works a certain way or a better way because of the way it's labeled or the way it's presented to you. In actuality, most products are very similar to each other. It's just how it's packaged and how it's presented. Our brain seriously tricks us into believing that something works better than another thing just because of the way it's presented to us. I guess it's kind of like dating. It doesn't matter how great of a person you are on the inside. If you present yourself like trash, people are gonna believe you are trash. I'm just saying is that how you present yourself is how people are going to perceive you. And don't be surprised when people treat you a certain way because of how you present yourself. By all means, I'm not saying that it's okay for them to treat you a certain way either but but here's some tough love here you gotta understand that that the reason why humans are judgmental is because it's a defense mechanism and actually it's a mechanism that we developed in order to keep us safe i mean if you're walking down an alley and you see a lion and a bunny your brain is going to be like run away from the lion because it's going to eat you girl but touch the bunny because it's not it's just how our brain immediately tries to categorize this thing so that we know what is dangerous or not. <laughs> so after that cute little lecture that I just gave you guys there, I am going to add a little bit more to my face and build upon this. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. Maybe I'm just gonna use the lip part of the bottle here. I'm just gonna wipe it and I'm just tapping it so that it really builds up. Honestly, I feel like the heel liner builds a lot better than the the original sponge, but maybe it's just me. I feel like it's flatter and it really just gets onto my skin a little bit better. So let's see. Okay, what do you guys think? Hero, zero. Seriously, you guys, I need to get a new bottle. But I've just been so busy that I haven't been able to pick up a bottle and then I don't really want to buy it full price either because it can get a little expensive even though I just buy it like once a year. But still, you know, wherever you can save money, you, you should. Come on. It's just weird like when you first apply it and it's like spreading, you know? I really do feel like that this works a lot better if you have primer on your face. Where there is primer on my face, the sponge is blending it in a lot better and it's also holding onto the foundation a lot more as well. The only problem I'm having is, um, can you guys see how it's separating a little bit because it's two pieces together and it's not one? I think that's the only major issue here. Some of the foundation is getting in between the two layers actually very similar to the silly sponge as far as longevity goes I don't know if this will hold up as long as buying the actual sponge but I mean it looks like it's gonna come off again this might be something that's great for those of you who are just like I want to try it out and see if it works before I invest an extra couple bucks on a sponge itself to give it another fair impression I am going to use my wet and wild dual and contour stick because I love this thing it was inexpensive and it just, I don't know, it's easy to use. Here we go, we are going to highlight the bridge of my nose. Nose 2.0 is still fabulous, by the way. Right here, boop, boop, cheeks, boop, 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 boop. Oh, the lighting changed on me again. Ugh, this is the worst. Sorry, you guys, didn't realize that the sun wants to play peekaboo so often today. Now we're onto the contouring. I think that is good. I'm gonna try to use the heel liner <laughs> to blend in my contour and highlighter. Now that I'm using this, to be truthfully honest, as far as using it on highlighter and contour goes, I actually kind of like it a little bit more. I think it's because of the size of it. I think you know what it is? It's because it's smaller. So you can actually contour and highlight and do more detail work. I really do think this is better for highlighting and contouring versus applying on your foundation for truth. 
I guess it's the same with makeup brushes, like, you know, a big powder brush is used to apply powder, a contour brush is used to, to apply contour, so I guess Silly Sponge will probably pick up in the future that they should make a contouring and highlighting sponge. So the one thing that I have to learn how to do is to not put so much contouring and highlighter products on my face because this doesn't absorb the product, so then you end up with a lot more product on your face. It's just something that you're gonna have to learn as you go. On this Silly Sponge, if you can look, it's definitely thick thicker than the heel liner and because it has this little cushion here I feel like it blends a lot better maybe if I were to fold it in half and use it purpose like a pack see what this looks like so here is a clean makeup wipe now wipe it and that's how much product is on it I do feel like this doesn't look as clean as what the sponge would look like when it's clean the sponge definitely has that medical cleanliness that you probably can't get unless you go to the hospital um, not too bad Bad, right? Okay, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup really quick. Okay, so faces on, what do you guys think? I have no complaints. I really do think that in a hiffy, I could probably use a heel liner as a, a, a sponge for my face. I did mention that I got two of these for the price of one. I don't think I'm gonna have to result to this in any time soon, but it was fun to demonstrate this for you guys. This did come in a pack of three, meaning that I can use it for my heels, I can use it for my face, and then I can even use it for my breastesis. I guess that's a three for there for ya. Overall, very, very similar application process I feel like this has more longevity than this would in a pinch I'm pretty sure you can use this then again I don't know if I want to use anything that's already been in my shoe on my face since I am very acne prone this was an interesting little experiment that we had so anyways uh, that is my little schmeal there I hope you guys like the first impression on how to use a heel liner as a makeup sponge for your face at the end of the day I still think I will probably just invest in this makeup sponge versus buying heel Liners. Yeah, if you guys like this video, be sure to like it down below, share it with everyone that you know, and if you have something that you would like for me to try in my next video, be sure to let me know down below and I will try to get a hold of it and try it on for you guys. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button because every subscriber equates to one fairy dust. I eat the fairy dust and that's what motivates me to create more videos for you guys. I'm gonna go and upload this video and go take a big nap because my illness is, is starting to kick back in again. But I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to be a functioning human being because I look too pretty to just be in bed all day, right? <laughs> Alright, you guys have to end my videos. Remember to always rock on soul beans. Bye! But today we are going to be attempting to make this thingy. No, it is not a necklace. It is not a belt. It is a bra. This is how it's gonna look like on me, just like that. And my little itty bitty titties are gonna be out for the world to admire. Actually, I'm gonna wear this underneath like a really deep v-neck or a tank top or something. It's a fun 